Okay, our presentation is going on in our spoken class. And the two speakers today, they will speak today. And first of all, I would like to invite Ifat Jahan and our topic is child's right in Bangladesh. And first of all, she will be talking on this topic five minutes. And after that, we will be asking some questions on the topic and she'll be answering the questions. And in total, probably she will talk 10 minutes. Thank you so much uh, for coming today. And I would like to deliver your speech. Ifa Jahan, please. Thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. And assalamu alaikum, everyone. Good evening. And I want to start my presentation with a quote that was said by former president of America, John F. Kennedy, said that children are the world's most valuable resources, and it's the best hope for the future. Today, my presentation topic is child rights in Bangladesh. Today's children are the prospective generation of the future, and those who are now children will have to take the responsibility of the future. But in Bangladesh, we see that the violation of child rights is a very common matter. And though Bangladesh is a densely populated country with about 160 million people, and half of our population is, is under 18, and which are considered as children. And more than 20 million uh, uh, population is, is under five. There is a huge number of children in our country. And uh, we see that the violation of child rights uh, is very common. More than 73% uh, of children live in rural area and uh, only 27% live in urban area. And among one third of these children continue to live uh, below the international poverty line. And they are facing lots of problems. And every children have basic rights of uh, education, basic rights of uh, health, diet, balanced diet, uh, basic rights of uh, recreation, protection, safe water, hygiene, and uh, um, sanitation. But most of the children of our country are uh, deprived from these uh, basic rights. And they are facing lots of problems. And by naturally, children are human beings and uh, who, who needs to molding as an adult to, uh, to education and basic life expectation. But uh, the social structure of Bangladesh totally fail to fulfill the rights of uh, child rights. I mean, they, uh, they cannot fulfill, uh, fulfill the, all the children. I mean, they cannot fulfill all the rights. I mean, they fail to uh, give the, all the children a natural opportunity for growth. And we can see that about 30% of children are related to child labor. And also they are related to uh, many kind of crime, uh, many kind of drugs, illegal things, lots of things. And uh, they are continue deprived from their basic rights. People of our country think that child labor are easily manageable and they are less, less expensive. Uh, they are easy to handle and less demanding. And sometimes we see that uh, low status work, some dirty work also serve, serve for children because adults uh, think uh, adults are unwilling to do that kind of work. And there is an amusing thing that we have also uh, 25 special law for child labor, but uh, this child labor doesn't make any difference our, in our society. And because uh, there is no harmony between uh, child and law and the lawmaker. And uh, our government quite uh, friendly, child friendly. I mean, they are taking lots of initiative uh, to save our child rights. But uh, in front of our youth uh, population, uh, it's very tiny. And not only our government, many international uh, organizations like 
um, save the children uh, like UNICEF and uh, our our local NGO like uh, Brag and Grameen uh, Bank. Uh, they are also taking many initiatives, but it's a uh, very a little. And hey, uh, I, I, I think we should uh, save our children rights. Hey, uh, children's children. Do you want class record? Children's children. And um, basic, they, we should save our children basic rights, like rights for food, rights for education, rights for their health, production, and lots of things. And uh, not only government, our society should also take some initiatives to save our child rights. And uh, the state, uh, the our government and uh, society should take all the activities and make all the policy on the behalf of our child tax. And here I want to finish my presentation. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you. Okay, very good. Now I would like to invite uh, some persons to ask some questions, especially Saleh Ahmed and Kajar Afat Please. Assalamu alaikum. Ifa Jahanapu, how are you doing? Okay, you have spoke very well and we got lots of information from you. Uh, in my view, UNICEF, actually uh, United Nations Children's Fund UNICEF is uh, yeah. actually doing their activity all over the world. So what do you think yeah. UNICEF actually, how UNICEF is uh, doing their activities in our country? In many cases, we see that UNICEF is uh, helping the uh, adults or in many sectors they are helping, but they are not focusing on children's rights. They just, uh, they have just named that uh, they are, United Nations for Children's Fund, but actually they are not helping the children. So, what do you think about UNICEF? Yeah, I told that uh, our government and uh, the international organization like UNICEF, I mean, taking many initiatives for child rights, but uh, in front of our youth population, it's very tiny, it's very little. I mean, they do not actually, alone, they do not actually uh, serve our country. I mean, we have to take uh, initiative to save the child. Okay, thank you. Uh, in our country, there are uh, many orphanages. There are lots of, uh, in Bangla, we say, etim khana. Actually, what do you think? Um, yeah. In our country, there are lots of rich people, but they are not focusing on uh, those orphanage or those madrasa. Yeah. So do you think that they should help on those institutions so that uh, yeah, our children can get their rights? Yeah. Please tell, tell me something about that. Yeah. In this country, we have lots of rich people. I mean, if we South Asian country, Bangladesh is the, one of the country where rich people, I mean, to getting rich is a higher rate nowadays. I think rich people should concentrate on this sector to help our, or to help our poor children. Okay, if at our social structure, you said well that here the yeah. gap between rich and the poor people is getting higher day by day and rich people are getting rich and poor people are getting poor day by day so the class system we actually we are producing that is quite destructive and and our our poor people are deprived of their rights and poor people do not know about their rights so if this way continues then poor people or like children, they could be destructive for the country too. So in, in, in 
foreign countries, we see that those uh, like rich people, they actually contribute huge uh, to develop the like uh, orphanage or like trusty organization. But uh, we, we do not see, although we have, but we do not see that much. And what is the moral ethic they have, but we lack for this? They donate huge, but we don't. What is the reason actually behind this? Or what could be the possible solution for this? Uh, our moral lack, maybe we think about uh, too much about ourselves. I mean, we don't think about other. We don't think about the, our society. In uh, I mean, in abroad we see that uh, they are uh, I mean for better future they are concentrating on their child. They are taking lots of initiative for their uh, child rights. But in Bangladesh it's uh, it's very little because uh, we are too much selfish in some sec in some sector. I mean, we think a lot of lots of things uh, i mean we don't think about others other side we always uh, think about our own rights can we make sure their rights by establishing like the basic rights of human beings too for example for them we can make specialized schools and for them we can make uh, medical treatment, a specialized team will work for them, uh, like the, for like Tokai or this class of people. So, for example, we have uh, like quota system in hospital for journalists, then freedom fighters, then government employee. So for them too, we can make some kind of initiative like this. Uh, do you think that we can we can focus? for specialized uh, school, specialized uh, in, in hospital, there will be a part or sector that if they say that we are from this class, then they will be given priority. This way we can give some rights to them. Yeah, we can focus on this thing. And if we see that our government uh, in the last two decades uh, take many initiatives for primary education right? from 22 to, to 2021, I mean 2000 to 2020, uh, we see that a huge number of uh, primary education, a huge number of students enrolled in primary education, government gave uh, scholarship and uh, lots of free things. And apart from this, I think uh, we should uh, take other initiatives like uh, you told that specialized hospitals, specialized work for our children, specialized uh, opportunities, that kind of thing. We can uh, do some for our um, street children also, uh, because in our society, so many street children also, uh, who are abundant and who are neglected by their parent also. And we can uh, do some uh, our street children, child labor, that kind of thing. Okay, if Jahan, thank you so much for uh, letting us know lots of information about your uh, research or you have taken or you have actually collected information from different sources. Uh, it was nice listening to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you sir.